Hey everybody, Farmhouse, the casual gamer here, and this is not going to be easy, but I'm going to try to take a look at Rabbids Travel in Time 3D on the 3DS. Now, of course, these handhelds are going to be, well, almost impossible to, uh, to film, and I know this camera doesn't do a very good job, and unfortunately the quality isn't going to be the greatest, but please bear with me. Let's just see if we can get through this. So I'm going to launch the title here, and uh, it does... I have the 3D obviously turned off right now because uh, you guys can't see it anyway, so there's no point in having it on. So this game came out, well, for North America anyway, came out uh, April 10th, which uh, by my watch is actually yesterday's date. But anyways, let's jump in and see what the new Rabbids game is all about. And yeah, the screen does look pretty grainy, and unfortunately, it obviously does not look that way in real life. And that's the thing with these 3DS games, is you really have to have them in your hand in order to show off what the game is capable of uh, graphically and, well, whatever. Anyways, let's choose. It's an uh, English language here. And I'm currently just showing the top half of the DS, or of the DS, the 3DS. If you move the bottom screen, is basically just a title screen right now. So, um, yeah. Please forgive the amateur video recording, but it's, it's all I could do right now. So, we're going to continue with the game just so I can show you a little bit of gameplay. And uh, the whole thing about Rabbids Travel in Time is there's all kinds of different areas that you can go to. And I'm currently just going to show you a little bit of the first world, which is like prehistoric world. Because that's pretty much all I've done so far. And again, I, but I don't want to have any spoilers as well. So we're gonna check it out. So here is the main part of the main world. This is uh, the first area here, and as you can see, I've, I've only played through about four levels here. So let's jump in and just show you some of the gameplay here. And uh, da, 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 da. let's just start it off here. There's different ways that you can play each level. You can do time-based, or you can do sort of like mission-based, which is where you're collecting a bunch of stuff. And so it, it adds a lot of replayability, so you want to play the same level more than once. And here we go. Sorry, I'm just, uh, it's telling me on the bottom screen here all the stuff that I want to, uh, look for. Okay. Okay. So here we are. Here is the, and it looks terrible, I'm sorry. This camera has a really tough time, um, focusing on that screen. But anyways, the game actually, it, it does look really, really good. Um, there are very, very minimal jaggeds, like the uh, the rabbit has very minimal jaggeds to him. So I'm going to try to see if I can play this through the camera without actually holding the 3DS. It's just kind of sitting on the table. Um, and it is a side-scrolling platformer game. And the reason why I decided I wanted to show off this video is because this game is actually a pretty good game. And if you're a person like me, I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan. I have nothing against the game, it's just not really for me. So when it came to, you know, getting my 3DS, it's like, okay, what game am I going to get? And if you're not a fan of Street Fighter, the launch selection is pretty limited. That's why I was pretty excited when I saw the trailer for this game. And it's kind of like a, a nice mix between... Mario Brothers side scroller and like Donkey Kong Country with a little bit of Little Big Planet mixed in, if you can believe it or not. Um, so it's pretty cool. And the controls are very tight. As you can see, I'm a, a little rabbit there, and he jumps pretty high. Pretty high. And this is the first level of the game, so it's, it's relatively easy with very minimal enemies. But you do get more enemies as you go on. Right now, it's just kind of trying to show you the ropes, so. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can't unlock. You probably notice my rabbit is wearing a suit and a hat. You know, you, you don't start off with a suit and a hat. Kind of like Little Big Planet, you can collect costumes and you can change the costume of your rabbit, which is uh, kind of a neat feature. Just that little extra something to put in the game. The music is great. The graphics are great. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the 3D, even though obviously it's not on because you guys cannot see it. Um, if you're looking for a game to show off your 3DS to your friends, to show them how amazing the 3D is, this is not really the game for that. 
It does utilize the 3D and it does work very well, but it basically just gives you an element of, of the depth behind you. Nothing's really gonna come flying out at you um, or in your in, in your face or anything like that. It does make use of the 3D though, so it, it, it definitely is a 3D game. But you can play it in 2D obviously without, you know, any any issues. The 3D doesn't add, doesn't add a ton, it's just a little something extra that's kind of nice. Oops, I was supposed to jump a lot sooner than that, but it's hard for me to control everything without actually picking up the, the 3DS. I'm playing the game through the camera lens, so it's, I'm going to be pretty bad. And I wish I had a camera that could record better than this. I do have another camera, and while it, it doesn't create those, you see those lines that are in the, on the screen right now? Um, it doesn't do that, but unfortunately it can't focus sharp enough to actually show you the game, so I'm kind of stuck. It was either completely blurry or some, you know, random colorful lines, so I went with the lines. Here's just showing me that I can attack. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this up and show you. This is what goes on in the bottom screen now. It kind of tells you the stuff that you've collected. And it also shows, if you see the bottom there, the little rabbit head there, it kind of shows you how you're progressing through the level, from where you started to where you're going to finish up there. And so those arrows are checkpoints, so I've gotten past one arrow, which is one checkpoint. Back to the game. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's a really cool side-scroller, and I, I like a good side-scroller. Like I said, just, the 3D does add a bit to it. Um, doesn't, definitely doesn't take anything away from the game. The music's great. I mean, just listen to the score. Well, not that you can right now. Hang on. Let's get off of this. Some nice, uh, almost like tropical tribal music. It's pretty cool. Here I just picked up a shirt. And that's the stuff that you can go back uh, once you're out of the level. You can go into what's called the fitting room and change your costume, which we'll check out in a little bit. Uh, let's go through the controls. Let's get a straight piece of ground here. Obviously the A button does a nice high jump. I am using the analog stick right now, but you can use the D-pad as well. So I know some old schoolers will like to use the D-pad for their side scrollers. Um, X is like your attack. And B, well, B picks stuff up, although I don't have anything right now. Um, you can also do like a ground pound if you jump up and press down. So it's pretty cool, lots of stuff. The Y button, I'm not sure what it does, but I'm still pretty early in the game, so I'm sure it'll do something. Pack some enemies here, and move on. There are also other pickups that you can get, and I think we're coming up pretty close to one right now. So here, I can show you how I can pick stuff up with the B button there. And you can actually, you just tap it and you pick it up. You don't have to hold down, so you're free to jump around and do whatever you want. And you can use this as a weapon, or if you need to, here I'll use it as a weapon here to crush those things. You can also use it, you know, to, oops. If you press down, you'll drop it where you are and you can jump on it to use it for more leverage, obviously. So that's where it's kind of got the little big planet element in. Element in. Uh, the whole side-scrolling thing and the tropical jungle environment thing right now is very very, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Donkey Kong Country. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. It's not easy. And of course, I I'm going to be skipping certain things. Whoa. I kicked that thing pretty hard. Woo! Alright, let's finish up. I know I'm not getting everything. Whoa, 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 no, no, stop, stop, stop. Let's finish up. I didn't realize you could kick that. Oh, cool. Let's keep going. Oh, am I crooked? No, we're still okay for now. Uh, again, I so apologize for the quality of this video, but it's all I could do. So we're just about at the end. Looks like we're coming up on another checkpoint. How did I know that? Because according to this camera, we're about to cross another checkpoint. So a little bit further. So the game, <laughs> the game's storyline is really, well, nothing. It's about a bunch of rabbits that turn a washing machine into a time machine, and that's basically as far as it goes. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, here's one of the pickups I was talking about earlier. This little suit here will make you temporarily invincible. 
And that is the little invincibility bar in the top right, which is very hard to see, but either way. Anyways, um, the first time you play through the levels, you're basically just straight up collecting, you know, coins and stuff and uh, just trying to get through the level. But they've created some replay value by obviously giving you different missions and things you want to collect. Uh, and of course, there's also time based as well. So you definitely want to go back and play these levels more than once, which gives it some nice replay value. On the back of the box, it says there's over 60 levels. That's pretty generous. So if that was one level, there's another 59 of those to go. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of content there, which is nice. See in the bottom here, it's by the stuff that I've collected and the stuff that I've accomplished, it's kind of filling up the, a bar. And the further up you uh, fill the bar, you end up unlocking some stuff. So it's currently saving. Let's jump back and check out really quick because this video is already going way too long. Um, let's jump back and look at the uh, there's two things we can look at, which is the gallery and the fitting room. So let's look at the gallery real quick. And that's just some stuff that you can unlock, which is figurines and pictures. You go to figurines here, and uh, you basically unlock almost like a precious moments, but with rabbits. Um, and of course, normally it would be in 3D, but it's not, because well, YouTube does support 3D, but there's absolutely no way in order to transfer this to that. Uh, pictures, we won't bother looking at because I'm pretty sure you know what pictures are. <laughs> pictures are just pictures. You uh, end up unlocking puzzle pieces to uh, open a picture. Let's go to the fitting room. And that'll be the last thing that we pretty much look at. The fitting room, uh, like I said, is basically just where you kind of change your clothes. So here I am, and of course the glare is terrible. You can see my there's my the top of my head there with uh, causing a shadow. But once you get over here, you can activate costume mode, and then you kind of swap out, you know, different hairstyles. But uh, well, what the heck? Well, let's you press A to choose your hair, and then it'll uh, move over there, and then I can uh, choose a little cowboy thing, and then there we go. And that's how you do it. But I am not going to choose that because I like my suit. And I like my little hat, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that. We're gonna confirm, and it's kind of neat that you can kind of customize your character that you're playing through uh, the game with. And that is basically, in a nutshell, what Rabbids in Time is. And considering the the games that are out right now, let's move this up here so we can finish on that. Considering the games that are available right now for the 3DS, I would have to say this game is in the top. I would say the top three 3DS games that are out right now. Now, of course, there's, there's only a small handful. But this is a game that's uh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I love the side-scrolling action. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not depending on the 3D as a gimmick to make the game fun. It's just kind of there as a little bit of an add-on. And I really think you should check out Rabbit's Travel in Time. If you have a 3DS and you're either sick of playing Street Fighter or it's just not your thing, I definitely say check out Rabbit's Travel in Time. You probably won't regret it. Anyways, for Firemouse the Casual Gamer, thank you for joining me. Again, sorry about the primitive quality of the video, but uh, I just I wanted to get this out there because I think it's a very uh, I don't think a lot of people know about this game, and it's pretty friggin' sweet. So for Firemouse the Casual Gamer, cheers.